Hey, what's up guys, it's Matt. I'm gonna to talk to you today about some of my most hyped, hyped movies for 2019. So, like every other year, there is a plethora of superhero movies coming out. Top ones I am looking forward to are, of course, Avengers Endgame. I mean, I've gotta know what happened after potentially the last appearance we'll get of Robert Downey Jr and Chris Evans as Captain America and Iron Man, possibly also the last we'll see of Chris Hemsworth as Thor. Um, so really excited to see where they go with it, what they do, and how that's then going to sort of set up the MCU um, thereafter. On the topic of Endgame, before that, we've obviously got Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is apparently going to play quite a big part in Avengers Endgame, so beforehand she's getting her own solo origin movie. It's Marvel's first go at a female-led superhero movie. Wonder Woman by DC obviously did really, really well. So I'm super excited to see Captain Marvel. Set in the 90s, we get a young, uh, a young Nick Fury. Hopefully, we're going to see the story on how he loses the eye. Um, because I really, really want to know. He trusted someone once and lost an eye. What happened? So like I said, Endgame is kind of going to reset the Marvel Universe. The first movie coming out after Endgame this year is Spider-Man Far From Home, the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming. They're using one of Spider-Man's most underutilised villains, in my opinion, Mysterio, being played by Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal is an absolutely incredible actor. Mysterio is an absolutely incredible villain. As I said, he's just kind of always forgotten about, underutilised. Really looking forward to seeing where they go with it. Sticking with the superhero theme, DC-wise, I am quite looking forward to Shazam!, it's going to be very different to any sort of superhero movie that we've had so far. Um, for those of you that don't know, Shazam is basically a kid who gets the magical powers, he shouts the word Shazam, and then bam, he turns into like a man and a superhero. He kind of has similar-ish powers to Superman, apart from he's not an alien, it's all like through magic. I just think it's going to be very entertaining because Zachary Levi is playing Shazam, it's just going to be very funny seeing kind of like a grown man acting kind of like a 15 year old, I think he is. Um, it's just kind of messing around with superhero powers. It's going to be a very different superhero movie to anything that DC or Marvel have come out with beforehand. I suppose you could argue, sticking with the superhero genre, we also have Glass, M. Night Shyamalan's latest bringing together the worlds of Split and Unbreakable. Split and Unbreakable were two absolutely amazing movies. I only actually f watched them both this year for the first time. Um, I had no idea that they were going to come together uh, and become this thing glass, so I'm really intrigued to see where it goes. Problem with M. Night Shyamalan is that whenever there's any sort of hype for any of his movies, they tend to suck. It's when there's no hype that he tends to shine. And last superhero honourable mention is going to go to X-Men Dark Phoenix. Fox have done it again. They've lured me in with a nice looking trailer. I mean, I've not really massively enjoyed the past few X-Men movies. This one does look good though. Um, I will go see it, although I am more excited for... Marvel 100% getting the rights back from Fox and rebooting the X-Men. But if this is potentially the last Fox Marvel X-Men movie, it looks like they're going out with a bang at least. Moving away from the superhero genre, looking at Disney. Continuing their mission of remaking every single movie this year, we've got The Lion King coming out. Absolutely stellar voice cast, can't wait to see it. Um, although I think I'm going to get a bit sad seeing Mufasa die in like near real life CGI, that's that's going to be a bit grim. We've got Dumbo coming out as well, uh, Tim Burton's involved in this one so I expect it to be rather freaky and then finally we've got Aladdin as well. Aladdin, I am just, like, it looks awful, just those pictures of Will Smith as the genie, I just, I'm only looking forward to this one, not because I think it's going to be good, because I think it's going to be a train wreck of a movie. I want to be wrong, but I, I, I don't have I don't have high hopes for Aladdin at all. Sticking with Disney still, but linked up with Pixar, we've got Toy Story 4. I was shocked when this movie was announced. Toy Story 3 was the perfect ending. Pixar don't tend to make movies unless they've got another story to be told. Tom Hanks, the voice of Woody, has already come out and said that this one's brought him to tears. The last one brought me to tears, so this one's going to bring me to tears again. I have faith in Pixar that they're doing it because they have a good, genuine, emotionally driven story to tell and it's not just a cash grab. And I suppose sticking with Disney still, finally, I keep think I keep forgetting that Disney own Marvel and they also own this, Star Wars, episode nine. Of course it was gonna be on the list. The last one in this rebooted trilogy. Now, I wasn't a particular big fan of The Last Jedi. I kind of enjoyed it at the time, but sort of mulling it over after sort of rewatching the entire saga over and over again. The Last Jedi, it's just a bit of a kick. J.J. Abrams kind of 
was building something up in The Force Awakens and then Rian Johnson's come along in The Last Jedi and is like, no, I don't like that story thread, I don't like that story thread, I don't like that story thread. Which is fine, but now J.J. Abrams has got to come in and try and wrap it up. So I feel like he's got a very difficult job on his hands. It's Star Wars though, it's the last one of the Skywalker saga. I'm super hyped for this movie. And finally, one film that I am probably the most excited for out of any film, Zombieland 2. All the original cast are back, Woody Harrelson, Emma Stone, Jesse Eisenberg. Apparently Bill Murray's got a cameo in it as well, even though I'm pretty sure he died in the first one. So I'm gonna guess we're gonna get a zombie Bill Murray. Zombieland has always been one of the better zombie movies I thought. It's like, like Shaun of the Dead, they've gone at it for a comedy angle, and I always thought it was absolutely brilliant. I'm really excited to see what they do for the sequel. So guys, that is a brief list of movies that I'm looking forward to in 2019. I'm sure there's loads more that I've forgotten and I'm sure there are going to be loads more that have come out which just aren't on my radar at all. That's that's what always happens. You're like, oh, like one day there'll just be a trailer for something. You're like, oh wow, I'll go see that. And it turns out to be your new favourite film. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what movies of 2019 you're most excited for. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.